In this video, we're going to be discussing the empty can test, also called the Job test. This is a special test that's used in the assessment of subacromial impingement syndrome, specifically for impingement of the supraspinatus tendon within the subacromial space. Now, as we'll see in just a minute, the name empty can test comes from the fact that the test position involves the hands in the same position you would use to dump out a can of pop. So if your soda is flat, you don't want to drink it, and you turn it upside down to dump it into the sink, it's going to be that same hand position. So to perform the empty can test, the patient's going to be positioned either in seated or standing. I'll be demonstrating this with the patient in the seated position. So the patient is going to elevate their shoulders to 90 degrees of flexion with their elbows straight but slightly outward, a little bit of horizontal abduction. So we're doing it in the scapular plane, not just straight shoulder flexion. Okay, Let's take a look at that. Now you'll notice here that her thumbs face downward and the palms are facing out, facing out laterally. You can demonstrate this for yourself. That is the position your hands would be in if you're dumping out a can of pop. Okay? She's going to attempt to maintain this position right here. Okay? I'm going to come behind and I'm going to apply a downward force and attempt to push her arms down. She resists and tries to keep her arms up. And a positive empty can test is going to be indicated by unilateral weakness compared to the unaffected side or reproduction of familiar shoulder pain. In other words, if I was unable to push her left arm down, but I was easily able to push her right arm down, that would constitute a positive empty can test on the right side, or if it reproduced right shoulder pain or left shoulder pain. And as you can see here, as a standalone test, the empty can test actually has terrible psychometrics. The sensitivity is 74%, so you really shouldn't use this test to rule out subacromial impingement syndrome. There are other related special tests that have much higher sensitivity values. And the specificity is deplorable, only 30%. You would never in your right mind ever use this test to rule up subacromial impingement syndrome. But you should be aware of this test because it is covered on the NPTE. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.